so hello everyone for today's presentation we will be talking about istanbul turkey so a little about a little about istanbul so first off its history istanbul is divided into two by the bosphorus strait with one half in asia and the other in europe the long history and permanent economic activity in the city is due to its location at the crossroads of two civilizations, the Mediterranean civilizations of Rome and Greece and the Eastern empires coming from Asia. Up until, up until year uh, 330, Istanbul was known as Byzantium, and then until uh, uh, 1453, Constantinople. It's Current name Istanbul only came in, into being on the 28th of March of 1930. Istanbul was the capital, uh, was the capital of Eastern Roman Empire and later of the uh, Ottoman Empire. On the 29th of October 1923, the Turkish Republic was proclaimed, and the capital of the new country was moved to Ankara. So a little about the origins of. Uh, Byzantium. Byzantium was founded on the European bank in the year 667 BC by Greek settlers from Megara who settled in a deep, well-protected gulf known as the Golden Horn. In the 5th century BC, the city was occupied and destroyed by Persians to be reconstructed by the Spartan Sonia Sonias in 475 BC. In 409 BC, it fell into the hands of the Athenians, but four years later, they were conquered again by Spartans until the Athenian reconquest in 390 BC. Byzantium formed a, a part of Alexander the Great's Macedonian Empire until the year 279 BC when the Celts imposed a tribute. It was relatively independent. So a little about the Roman Empire, in 191 BC, it was recognized as a free city, although in 100 BC, it was taken as a possession of the Republic. In 197 BC, the Emperor Septimus Severus sacked the city and destroyed its walls, but later decided to reconstruct them in the image of other Eastern colonies, doubling the walled area in the process. The Byzantine Empire, Constantine the Great began to build a new Rome in 324, and in 330, it was conquered as Constant Constantinople, becoming the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire. For its inhabitants, it was also a Roman capital built upon seven hills as Rome was. As Rome was it was divided into 14 regions, tens of where uh, inside the walls, the first Hagia Sophia Cathedral built by Constantine II, Next, the Grand Palace was consecrated in year 360 and was severely damaged in 532, which led Justinian to build a new cathedral. Due to its strategic position between Europe and Asia, Constantinople con controlled the route between the two continents and passage between the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. That meant that for centuries, it was the major medieval urban center in Europe. While the western part of the Roman Empire was engulfed in a profound political, economic, and demographic crisis. As for its geography, the most important city in Turkey, Istanbul, is the only city that stands on two continents, Europe and Asia. The Bosphorus, which divides Istanbul, is about 35 kilometers long and connects the Black Sea in the north to the Sea of the Marmara in the south. The the geography of Turkey is characterized by a central plateau that is surrounded by mountain chains to the north, west, and south, and a rock mountainous region in the east. The northern Anatolian mountains are an uninterrupted chain that runs almost parallel to the Black Sea. The climate, the climate of Istanbul is classified varsity as Mediterranean, oceanic, and transitional climate with between the two is temperate with cool, frequent, frequently rainy, somewhat snowy winters and warm to hot, moderately dry summers. The warm season lasts for 3.1 months from June 9th to September 13th with an average temperature of above 25 degrees Celsius. The hottest month of the year in Istanbul is August with an average high of 28 degrees Celsius and a low of 21 degrees Celsius.
The cool season lasts for 3.9 months from November 28th to March 23rd with an average daily high temperature below 13 degrees Celsius. The coldest month of the year in Istanbul is February with an average low of 4 degrees Celsius and high of 9 degrees Celsius. A little about the attractions you can find in Istanbul. First is the Hagia Sophia. No trip to Istanbul is complete without a visit to the awe-inspiring Hagia Sophia, a majestic architectural wonder that has stood the test of time for nearly uh, 1,500 years. Originally constructed as a Byzantine cathedral in, 50, in 537 AD, this stunning monument later served as a mosque during the Ottoman Empire and is now a museum, allowing travelers to explore its fascinating past. Gazing at Hagia Sophia's massive, massive iconic dome and its intricate mosaics, you will be captivated by its harmonious blend of Byzantine and Islamic artistic styles, making it a must-see attraction for anyone who, love, who has a love for history, architecture, and culture. The Tokapi uh, Palace for travelers see seeking to immerse themselves in the fascinating history and lavish lifestyle of the Ottoman Empire. A visit to Topkapi Palace is an absolute must. This is this sprawling complex, located in the historic Sultan Ahmed district, served as the primary residence and administrative center for the Ottoman sultans from the 15th to the 19th century. As you wander through its beautifully designed courtyards, grand halls, and lush gardens, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the grandeur and opulence that define the lives of the sultans and their courts. The Grand Bazaar, for travelers seeking a truly immersive and memorable shopping experience in Istanbul, the Grand Bazaar is an absolute must-visit destination, with its origins dating back to the 15th century. This expansive, covered market is one of the largest and oldest in the world, featuring a maze of more than 4,000 shops teeming with unique and exciting treasures. As you wander through the bazaar's bustling lanes under its colorful vaulted ceilings, You'll be enveloped in a scenery feast of lights, sounds, aromas, and making it a perfect place to discover authentic Turkish goods and soak up the city's vibrant atmosphere. The Blue Mosque, one of Istanbul's most iconic landmarks, the Blue Mosque, also known as Sultan Ahmed Mosque, is a must-visit destination for travelers seeking to experience the splendor and spiritual atmosphere of this captivating city. Completed in 1616, this architectural masterpiece is renowned for its exquisite blue Islamic tiles, which adorn the interior of the mosque and its six slender minarets that pierce the city skyline. As you enter the mosque's poly courtyard, you'll be stu struck by the grandeur, symmetry, and the sense of serenity that pervades the sacred space. Taksim Square, for those seeking a vibrant heart of modern Istanbul, look no further than Taksim Square. The bustling hub of activity is a popular gathering place for locals and visitors alike, offering a wide array of shopping, dining, and inter entertainment options. As you stroll through the lively streets, you'll find a diverse mix of international brands, local boutiques, and bustling cafes. Taksim Square is also the perfect starting point for a leisurely walk down Istiklal Street, one of the city's most famous pedestrian thoroughfares, where you can enjoy street performers, historic buildings, and the iconic red tram. The cuisine, simit, another Turkish specialty that's easy to find on the street is simit. It is a pretzel-like twisted bread made like a bagel, covered in sesame seeds, a slightly chewy the exterior. Ah, Karazori Ozuna opened since 1915. We dipped the cement in honey and buffalo milk clotted cream called the Kaimak, made from the restaurant's own buffalo herd. The Kaimak was also creamy and delicious, and add a cup of strong Turkish tea and you have a great breakfast. Turkish delight, also known as lokum, which means morsels. Turkish delight is made from starch and sugar. It can be found all over Istanbul's in sweet shops and stores. You'll find it in mounds of varying flavor that you can choose from. The candy has a soft, squishy texture and is typically speckled with chopped pistachios or dredged in sugar on the outside.
balık ekmek. This scrumptious street food is very common sight in Turkey, especially in the area close to the sea. The fish fillet, which is generally grilled but can be fried too, is typically an oily fish such as mackerel, served with onions, lettuce, inside a Turkish bread roll. Pied. Pied is like a Turkish pizza. It's a delicious flatbread, grilled and crispy, topped with ground meat and or veggies. It is often served as an appetizer before the meal or with the mess platter. I I love how often the crispy bread is is and the wonderful flavor from the toppings. So donut kebab. You cannot leave tasting without tasting a donut kebab. If you do so on a trip, it will be unhealthy. Donut kebab is a large piece of meat that is roasted vertically as it's ro as it rotates. The large rotating kebab is so is sold in thinly sliced portions that will blow you away. Manti or Turkish ravioli. Turkish manti is often stuffed with lamb and topped with chili powder, ground sumac, tomato sauce, garlic yogurt, and hot butter to create a very lavish taste. Lastly, some fun facts about Istanbul. So it is located both in Europe and in Asia. It is one of the world's most populated cities. Istanbul was the capital of many historic empires. Istanbul is not the more modern day capital city, but Ankara is the capital city of Turkey. So Istanbul is the city on the seven hills. Istanbul is home to the world's second oldest subway. Thank you for visiting Istanbul.